Hi, I'm Lindsay, and I'm going to show you the correct use of a volumetric flask. A volumetric flask measures a set volume, in our case, 100 milliliters. Our first step is to remove the cork and take our piece of paper to make a funnel. We will use this funnel to add our solid to the volumetric flask, like so. We will then tap the funnel to make sure that all of the solid is into the volumetric flask. Now you may notice that there's some solid left in our beaker. We will then add some deionized water to the beaker and rinse the rest of the solid into our volumetric flask. You may need to do this several times, so please do it as much as necessary to remove all of the solid. You will then want to make sure that the solid is removed from the neck of the volumetric flask as well. So using your deionized water, you will want to rotate the volumetric flask to ensure that all of the solid is in the bulb portion. We will now add 100 milliliters to our volumetric flask. It is much easier to add from a beaker. You want to add it to the point where the bulb meets the neck. We do this because sometimes when you add liquid to a solid, it can expand. So you want to ensure that you don't overshoot your mark. After we add it to that point, we're going to put the stopper inside the volumetric flask tightly and invert it several times until our solid is completely dissolved. Once all of the solid is dissolved, you will remove your stopper and finish adding the water to the calibration mark, which can be seen by the white line etched around the neck of the volumetric flask. We will do this by using a squeeze bottle of deionized water, but we want to stop as we get close to the line to ensure precision. Now that I'm close, I'm going to use this dropper to continue adding water. I want to make sure that my eye is level with the calibration mark so that the meniscus rests just on the mark. This will be 100 milliliters. We will then place the stopper back in the volumetric flask and invert several more times to ensure that our solution is properly mixed. That is the correct way to use the volumetric flask. Thank you for your attention.